Ben Clink. Uh, we farm about 1,100 acres of corn, soybeans, and wheat here in uh, Rubicon, Wisconsin. I farm with my dad. I'm standing here in front of our strip-till rig that we put together this spring. It's kind of a poor man's version of strip-till, and uh, we had a pretty tight budget, but we were able to put something together. A couple of things that got us to this particular unit is uh, we used to do use the Ross and Coulter system on our planters years ago, but now we got a 12 row planter and uh, after doing several years of no-till with that we decided we kind of wanted to go back to something that worked up the ground a little bit. So we already knew the Ross and system and it was old enough that it fit into our budget and we managed to find one that didn't have a lot of acres on it and the, probably the biggest problem with it was the paint was a little faded which didn't bother us too much. So the stock of Ross and 12 row Coulter cart would come with a tank on it. We ended up taking the tank off because we wanted to be able to put on a lot of potash if we had to and with a dry fertilizer box you can kind of put whatever blend you want together and it's more economical than maybe using uh, a wet fertilizer product. So we took the thousand gallon tank off and removed a couple of frame members that were used if you were going to piggyback a planter onto the back of it and we were able to fit the dry box on it's a Fargo products box, which is real similar to a Concord cart. And uh, the meter and everything, it's all stainless steel. The box is stainless steel. We got kind of lucky getting everything to come together the way we wanted it. And uh, we got it together just in time to do about a third of our acres strip till this year. And we'll probably do it on 100% of our acres next year if we get the opportunity. So the. Uh, some of the things about this box that we didn't have any experience with was the distribution system and the meter. Uh, I know a lot of guys talk about the Montag system with every hose having a meter and that's probably the best, but we didn't have a Montag budget so we got this and I got to say that it works really well. We weighed out all 12 rows. Uh, Row to row consistency is probably within 5% um, with this using a scale. So I think that's more than good enough for what I'm doing. Um, originally, the box came with sensors, but no monitor control box. So what we did was we used some of the sensors that it came with, other sensors we replaced with some, some RPM sensors that I got off of Amazon. And we actually put everything into this box here. So we mounted a box on the unit so that I didn't have to have a box to move from one tractor to another if we ended up needing a different tractor. So everything's on here. When you start up the tractor, the main power goes through the wiring harness that you use for your lights and your flashers and stuff like that in the road and it picks up the power and it energizes the box and everything you read everything you need your reader your meter rpm your fan rpm uh, the bin level sensor and a blockage sensor in the meter itself so that all worked really well without a hitch really this spring that was probably the best part of doing this whole thing that was kind of fun setting up that box uh, it was pretty tricky getting the manifold system on here and uh, but it all fits on there really well and uh, we got the hoses from Daltmeyer that was the only brand new thing on this thing now that I think about that that's the only brand new thing on this piece of equipment everything on this thing we bought used from the Ross and motor right down to the Coulters and uh, but it all worked out really well on a tight budget I think altogether we got about fifteen thousand dollars into this thing and it does a pretty reasonable job.